Hi, my name is Mark Collard and this video will introduce a fun group initiative based on the recent animated movie called Madagascar. Now the idea was passed on to me by a recent workshop participant, his name was David Wright, I met him in Boston and uh, I thought it was such a great idea, he called it Madagascar Rescue and so I wanted to pass it on to you. It combines the elements of several uh, popular problem solving activities so it's perfect for focusing and developing team skills in your group. All you need is a large tarp. I work with one that's about two metres by three metres. Well, good for about sort of 15, maybe 20 people, depending on the size of your group. A bunch of soft toys, preferably animals to keep with the theme, and a stepping stone for each person. Now you start by placing out the tarp in the middle of your area and scatter all of your animals around the outside, not too close to the tarp though. And then set the scenario. And that is that uh, they're sitting, as they're standing in the beginning on the top of this tarp, on an upside or capsized boat. And what's happened, all the animals that were being transported have now been tipped into the ocean. Now their first task, standing on the tarp, is to actually flip the tarp the other way. So they're standing on one side of the tarp, they need to find some way of standing on the other side of the tarp. But the kicker is that they can't touch the ground on the outside, they must remain in contact on top of the tarp at all times. And then the second part of the initiative is then having now uprighted the vessel, we have got to find a way to bring all the animals back onto the vessel. And they use their, uh, their stepping stones, each person is provided with one, to be able to do that. Now there's lots of different ways that you can set up the stepping stone variation at this point. But I like the one where each person is given a stepping stone and they get to keep it so long as it keeps total physical contact with the group at all times. That is, whenever it's being used, typically as a piece of driftwood in the scenario, on the ground so they don't touch the ground itself, to be able to step over toward and rescue an animal. However, if at any point that a foot or any other part of the body does not touch one of the stepping stones, then that piece of driftwood drifts away and they never get to use it again. So it requires a great deal of focus and certainly some creativity and problem solving skills there too. So the group then works together to be able to use the stepping stones to move from their vessel out towards the animals and then bring them back safely, hoping to keep as many of those stepping stones as possible. Uh, so that's really just a variation of the standard stepping stones working from one spot to another. Now, uh, a few tips. One, I would suggest that uh, you use a non-rip material for your tarp because there will be a great deal of pressure placed on it as they're flipping it and um, you should also choose your stepping stones carefully this is what I've learned over the years you don't want to make them too big otherwise you can get too many people onto it uh, but then also not too thin the idea is that you can try and find something even wood that elevates them off the ground just a little bit uh, it, you'll be more successful in understanding if in fact there's any overlap and perhaps a foot is touching the ground or not uh, and two fun variations that I describe here on the blog. One is introducing tidal patterns, suggesting that the animals actually do drift uh, to and fro. So they might be heading towards an animal and suddenly you kick it away because the, the, the tide has moved it. Uh, and also using a smaller tarp, so small where it's almost impossible for them to be able to flip over it without touching the ground. And so the group then needs to start thinking about using their pieces of driftwood during that part of the solution as well. So that's Madagascar Rescue. Have a great deal of fun with it. Uh, if you want to make a comment, please do here at the blog or perhaps even add your own ideas to benefit everybody else. Uh, and then if you've come across this uh, and you're not at my blog, you found it at the inspireyourgroup.com forward slash blog site. Okay, thanks and have fun.